Welcome back, you beautiful people. Today's a video on how to ride over obstacles that are obstructing you on the trail. This poor tree right here in front of me has laid rest across the trail. So here's a few tips on how to ride over them and continue riding the trail. Oh, yes. There's an obstacle in the way. Now this is number one, if your bunny hops are not up to scratch and your trial skills are not quite there then, this is the easiest one in the book. And I'm teaching the suck eggs on how to get over a log like this, but it is easy. You pick your bike up, take your front tire, roll over it, because you're probably tired. You know, just let the log and your tires do all the work, rolling it over and getting over it like that. That is an easy way. All right, this one's a little, it's again another simple one, but if you just don't want to get off your bike and get off the far for like lifting it up and all that, it's called the fast plant, and it's just like this. Next one. Okay, the fast plant is essentially just a foot plant on the log, and it just goes like this. So you slap your front wheel in, hold it, your foot's on the log, depending on what side you want to do it. Now this next tricky bit is you want to force yourself up and over it with your foot and your leg, but then curling your other foot on the pedal to bring the back end up, but also holding the front end as well. Like that. This one is the rollover. Basically, you're gonna just lift your front tire up onto the obstacle, let it roll down the other side, and then just let your back wheel follow by just letting it ride over. But you want to uh, bring it up with your hips. You just wanna bring that wheel up. You don't just wanna put all your weight down and let it steam into it because it's probably just gonna stop you and jar you and send you forward. So you just wanna make the rear end a little bit light. You don't have to use the front brake. You're just gonna lift it up a little bit by curling your feet on your pedals to let that rear end come up and ride over it. Right, you don't want to just come into this full pout because it's got a tendency to just bang, bang and just send you all over the place. You just want to come into it walking pace and let the momentum push you through. Something you've got to be a little bit mindful of is if the obstacle's a little bit higher, you might catch your chain ring. So when you're trying to get your rear wheel up, you might want to be a little bit more aggressive so it clears it and gets you over it. This next one, you need a little bit more momentum and it's about, it's the manual bump or a wheelie bump. Basically you're compressing the front, lifting it up, not too high, then you're using that momentum to guide you through on the back wheel and as soon as it hits, let it come up into you. Bend those legs, bend those hips, get the bike to come up and as soon as it hits, that's when you push a little bit forward. You push forward to level out the bike and you, get in, you can get over it quite safely and comfortably. And it's a good feeling when it happens because it's, uh, it's like, oh yeah, I've just done a bit of trials. And I got this one from all those motocross enduro riders, they always do this sort of thing. They use the power to roar up, hit the back wheel, level out the bike, and then continue. This next one is uh, a little bit more advanced, it's the hardest one, and it's probably not the quickest one to get over a log, but it's fun and it's impressive. And this is the back hop to the back wheel onto the log and then over. You gotta make sure you don't just like back hop, land on top and slide off, because that's happened before, where your back wheel just slides off the other side and you loop out. It'll be funny for everyone else, but for you, it could be a bit painful. Now, when you're coming into it, you're gonna push down on the bars. You don't wanna come in too fast, but you don't wanna come in too slow. You wanna use that momentum. When you lift up the front, let the front wheel bump the log itself, so it gives it a little bit more loft. And whilst you're coming onto the back wheel, this is where you want to give it a little kick on the pedals and a pull up, like a little bunny hop. So you can clear it and land back wheel on top of the log by locking your rear wheel so you can stay there. And then you just let it kind of fall down, let the momentum push you through. Right, 
Now this next one is my favorite and I do it pretty much all the time because I'm putting down a pace on a trail and if I have an obstacle like this, I don't want to stop, I don't want to slow down, I just want to get over it quick. And it's the bunny hop, it's the quickest way to get over an obstacle of this size. Now if you don't know how to do the bunny hop or you're struggling, Neil's done a number of great videos on how to do the bunny hop and basically teaching someone to do it as well. Now spend a few hours doing watching that and practicing the, the bunny hop and when it comes to an obstacle like this, you can go fast and bunny hop all over it. All over it, over it. <laughs> There's a few basic tips on how to overcome obstacles on the trail. Now, if you are struggling with such obstacles just like this one, do you know what I would do? I would just stop there for a few minutes and uh, just practice it a little bit because practice makes perfect and also it's a bit of fun. Who can get over it the first out of all your mates? Hopefully this helped you out and I'll see you at the next one. See ya.